Hi everyone, this is Ronnie from InMotion Hosting, and thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress series. Today, I'm going to show you how to add anchor links to a WordPress post in the visual editor. These links will make it easy for your page visitors to navigate within a page or post. There are a few different ways to do this, so we're going to go with the simplest. We're going to start by adding the HTML anchor to our heading. Click on the heading block you want to add an anchor to, and make sure the menu on the right side of the page is on the Block tab. Expand Advanced on this menu to access the HTML anchor. Newer versions of WordPress may suggest anchors for you, but you can create your own as well. Adjust your HTML anchor for readability, search engine optimization, personal or style preference, or just make something up that you like. Remember that the anchor link will be part of a URL and you should have no spaces or special characters except dashes or underscores. Certain other characters are valid but not recommended for keeping your URL structure clean and they could cause problems later. If you've chosen a long anchor link, it's a good idea to copy this HTML anchor so that you have it exactly when you make the link later. Now, let's go create that link that brings people to this heading right away. Create a link as you normally would within WordPress. Highlight the relevant text, then click the link button. You can also use a keyboard shortcut. That's usually going to be Control K on Windows machines and Command K on Macs. The link should be an exact match of the HTML anchor you created a moment ago. Just put a pound sign or hashtag at the start, and that's all it takes. Update your page, and you'll now have a working anchor link for that heading. Anchor links are especially helpful in longer posts. Our team likes to use them to make tables of contents, and that lets readers easily find the topics that interest them quickly. It's also helpful to add anchor links within the text to other parts of a document so your readers can find related information right when they need it. You don't just have to use headings when you make anchor links. You can link to other blocks in WordPress as well, so you can send your readers exactly where they need to go. If your anchor link isn't working correctly, the most common reason is a mismatch between the link and the HTML anchor. Using a similar but not quite accurate phrase, a typo, or capitalizing a letter in one place that wasn't capitalized in the other will all cause the link to fail. Newer versions of WordPress make most other anchor link errors impossible by automatically formatting your anchor correctly, but if you update an older WordPress installation or you import posts from an older installation, you might have to go in and manually correct some of the anchor links that aren't working. Thank you for joining us for another video in our WordPress series. Check out our WordPress tutorials page for more helpful tips. Please like, subscribe, and comment below if you have any questions, suggestions, or topics you'd like to see us explore. Check out our InMotion Hosting Support Center for help with your website. We provide thousands of step-by-step -step guides, videos, and much more to lead you towards making your online project a successful one. You can find us at www.inmotionhosting.com support.